What's going on, YouTube? If you guys want to know what happened to Johnny Guns in GTA Online, the contracts. By the way, if you guys don't want to hear any spoilers, you can close this video. You guys can come back later on once you finish the story mission for the contracts DLC. Alright, back to the story. Johnny Guns is basically the main villain in the contract DLC. He and his men stole Dr. Dre's phones, which contain unreleased music recording, and also tried to kill Dr. Dre. Then the story leads to Dr. Dre seeking for help to get back his records. That's where he met Franklin, which is running this celebrity agency solution at the golf club. So Franklin agreed to help Dr. Dre and we are basically Franklin's co-partner in the agency. So at the end, we managed to get back the two phones belonging to Dr. Dre which contained his recordings and Dr. Dre was able to release his music to the public at the end. And during the final mission, we are assigned by Franklin to capture Johnny Guns. Where you see him on the picture here, our character is holding him by the hand after injuring him as he's about to be presented to Dr. Dre himself. Johnny! Hold up, man. You took something that belongs to me. That's some bullshit. I got mad respect for you. Respect? What the fuck do you know about respect? Come on, man. You know me. You just tried to blackmail me. Ah! Uh, I had to hustle hard to get that thing, man. I was just trying to get paid. Listen, I'm sorry. So as you can see in this clip here, Johnny Guns was trying to apologize to Dr. Dre, told him that he got mad respect for him. And he said the reason that he did all these things is because he's just trying to get paid. So now let's see what Dr. Dre's going to say. He's tried to kill me. But you know what? Let's forget about that for a minute. The tracks in my phone, that shit leaked, my nigga. The shit is out there. Right now, Dr. Dre is spilling all the points that Johnny is trying to kill him, stole his records and leak it, leak the unreleased music to the public, which is not cool. Then in the cutscene, Dr. Dre decided to do this. so sweet, so nice, and you can really get a hold of it, you know what I mean? Now that's a great club. And I'll tell you what, man. Bitch! <laughs> Motherfucker! I don't even feel bad anymore. The demos are out there and there's nothing I can do about it. And you know what? Turns out, hey, golf does put me in a better mood. He's kind of released all his emotions towards John Guns. I can understand his feelings. Imagine if someone's trying to kill you, stole your property, and they just leak it to the public without your permission. This is very, very offensive. And after that, the scene ends where Dr. Dre asks us to drive him back to the studio. So we don't know what happened to Johnny Guns as the scene just ended there, whether he was left there on his own, or whether Dr. Dre's men were apprehending him. Or he was sent to the police. We don't know. But if you go to the wiki and check out Jonathan Henderson. Which is the real name of Johnny Guns. You can scroll down and check out his status. You can see he is still alive. Usually dead characters in GTA Online. There will be status as deceased. If the character is killed or dead in game. So I'm pretty sure Dr. Dre or his man didn't kill him. Maybe he just let him go or drag him to the police he might be in jail who knows so that's it for today's video thank you so much for watching be sure to hit that like also that bell icon i'll catch you next time